Last year, my mom was cleaning her couch cushions. This meant washing the cases, which meant taking out the stuffing. And while doing so, she found this. A piece of thin metal, likely from a can or tin. Now, she would have walked away right there. With only three letters to go on, how could she figure out what it was? Only, I stepped in. Because I know a magical place where three letters is all you need. Join me today as we meet some of the most impressive, unsung detectives on the internet. Welcome to Nothing is Revealed. On Reddit, there's a community called What Is This Thing? The premise is simple. Someone posts a picture of an unknown object and some details. And most of the time, someone will have the correct answer within 15 minutes. Yes, really. They're that good. I've been sending these armchair detectives interview requests since I started this channel, and I've gotten some amazing answers back. I tried to post there asking for interviews and people's stories, but I quickly got banned for not asking the mod's permission first. Whoops. If I missed you and you want to tell your story below in the comments, please do. Disclaimer. Lately, there have been a swarm of YouTube videos that just steal the top of all time content off any given subreddit. I don't want to do that, mostly. I do want to share with you some of my favorite posts from a community that I've been a part of for years. But more than that, I want to know what makes the best detectives on the internet so masterful. So first, let's jump back to my mystery. The piece of thin metal. I'm thinking... Oh. Oh wow. They solved it. Turns out... It's a hole cut out of a tin can for Wing Wa egg rolls. This food manufacturer is based out of Hong Kong, but its products are eaten far and wide. No idea why it was in my mom's couch cushion. Maybe someone in the comments has a theory? Let's look at a few more examples. First, we have the obvious ones. Just a weird device or thing, for lack of a better term. This creepy little torture device actually turned out to be an antique soft-boiled egg opener. User Zangoku found this mystifying old piece of money. It mentions both the Japanese government and says five pesos. They immediately thought it was fake, and I don't blame them. But it turns out this is real antique currency from Japanese-occupied Philippines, a neat collector's item. There are also funny mysteries. User New Challenger found a silly band, only rather than being an obvious animal or shape, it was this. Many users floated their theories as to its shape, but one sleuth actually emailed silly band's creator Robert Croak. He responded that he'd try and dig up the answer, but tentatively said it was a custom order. A dragon monkey hybrid. Weird. Then there was the time user chemnerd19 found this thing on the banks of the Ohio River. Text on it says Pat May 17th, 1892. I don't think it's an antique butt plug, she wrote. Only that's exactly what it was. Specifically, the first rectal dilators were patented in 1892 by a Dr. Young. This appeared to be his original patent prototype. Yikes. Next, we have another category, the living thing, a weird bug or animal or fungus. Like this user who found this brilliant red spiny fish in his yard after a storm. Turned out to be a short spined sea scorpion. He's not very close to the ocean, so a bird must have carried it and dropped it. Either way, it's extremely venomous and can kill. Whoa. 
And for this next one, viewer discretion is advised. Seriously, if you are squeamish about insects, skip ahead to this timecode. Because this thing is horrific. You've been warned. This male moth of species Creatonotos gangus looks pretty normal until its hairy scent glands extend seeking a mate. Ugh, get it off the screen. And don't even get me started on slime molds. If you see a weird, gross, shiny blob out in the forest, it's without a doubt a slime mold. Case closed. Then we have the mysteries that creep into the real world. The ones that go beyond just some harmless item or animal. More than a few users have posted discarded car parts. The reasoning? The car was involved in a hit and run where they caused damage or even killed someone and then sped away. They post these hoping that someone in the What Is This Thing community can identify the car, which can give the police a leg up in catching the culprit. And big surprise, the WIT community is also really good at this. User the Ninja Jedi found this L-shaped piece of metal jammed in their front door lock. It turned out to be a tension wrench from a lockpick set. Call the cops on that one. Don't even get me started on the woman who found a recording device beneath her dresser. It turned out to be her spouse spying on her. And it wasn't the only device in the house. In her update comment, she wrote, I'm sorry there's not an exciting ending. Just my life being torn apart. And that sucks. And finally, we have the security camera that recorded this image of a man with some odd device standing in front of their front door late at night. The community rightfully pointed out the device is likely an old walkie-talkie. Why he was there, though, that remains a mystery. Speaking of mysteries, we have our final category the unsolved. Those things that even our brilliant detectives couldn't conclusively identify. A server at a restaurant got more than just money for this tip. There were also lit candles, playing cards, and an empty garlic jar. Commenters believed it to be some sort of pagan thank you ritual, possibly for the goddess Hecate. But curse or thanks, it's hard to say. Then there's this bizarre setup in an abandoned hotel. Is it a hobo art installation? Who knows? And finally, perhaps most chilling of all, is this monstrosity. It was found by a house cleaner. The picture is of John Benet Ramsey, an American child beauty queen who was infamously killed in her home and whose case remains unsolved. Around it are what appear to be pictures of human teeth. We could hardly even speculate about this one. These are just a few of the literal hundreds of interesting mysteries in this community, both solved and unsolved. I highly recommend you go down the rabbit hole yourself. Now, when speaking with the dedicated men and women who research and answer these questions, I was a little surprised. While I've shared with you some of the more over-the-top examples, they were more interested in the plain old stumpers. These weren't the flashiest of mysteries, but the thought of leaving them unsolved was unthinkable. This device is odd, sure, but it doesn't seem any harder to identify than all the rest. And yet, this one was unsolved for a long time, with naught but theories and speculation. Even Antiques Roadshow was supposedly stumped, but the case got cracked. It turned out to be an old carpet stretcher. When asked their favorite unsolved case, more than one person suggested this one. One man from Denver, Colorado said it best. There seems to be no earthly use for such a thing. Although many people insist it has something to do with wine or champagne, I am confident it doesn't. The fact that there are at least two in the world intrigues me. As far as demographics, we heard back from mostly men and located in states all over the US. Another interesting trend was that a majority of people worked in IT. Perhaps that's just the bias of Reddit users in general, or perhaps the IT background benefits these armchair detectives. 
there are many obvious tools for this job, such as reverse image search, but a few alluded to using other secret tech as well. I want to shout out the guy who responded from Raleigh, North Carolina with his master's in library science. You see, his library work involves researching and locating information for people, which is basically the same thing he does in the WIT community. He, like many others, were also fans of unsolved mysteries, including documentaries, books, and other Reddit communities. Something else he said made me laugh. The WIT community has a sidebar dedicated to frequently asked things. He said it always makes him laugh how these things just keep coming up year after year. Slime molds and wine decanters. Some things are just inherently mystifying. Finally, I asked the question, have any real life experiences influenced your love of mysteries? And I got some neat answers, but this one was my favorite. On the old Intellivision game console, there was a simple game called Auto Racing. It was a top-down driving game, with the goal of keeping on the road and not hitting any trees or obstacles. But as a kid, this user discovered that if you were really careful, you could go between the trees. It would take you out at other spots. This user wondered how far it went. There were random houses, and even strips of road that simply didn't exist on any of the game's courses. He found this fascinating, that someone would make all that stuff just for people to discover. I wonder how many mysterious things on WIT were created for the same reason. This video is running long, so I'd better end it there. If you're a frequent contributor to WIT, shoot me an email. I want to hear your story. Maybe I'll do a follow-up episode in the future. Thank you to the lovely folks of What Is This Thing and Reddit, and thanks for watching.